The current generation of the Airbus widebody family, the A340, entered service on 2nd February 1993, with its maiden flight taking place on October 25, 1991. Now, the economical, the environmental, and the strong competition from the Boeing 777 family led to the end of the A340 program in 2001, with the last deliveries occurring in November 2012. However, during the 21 years from the maiden flight to the last delivery, Airbus developed four variants of the A340, the 200, 300, 500, and 600. They seated 240 to 359 passengers in a typical two-class configuration, with ranges from 6,700 to 9,000 nautical miles. Now, concepts for the A340 family dates back to the mid-1970s, when Airbus was looking to improve its first wide body, the A330, and compete against other aircraft of that time, including the Douglas DC-10. The program broke into two branches, the A340 and the A330. The aircraft had identical fuselages and wings. The main difference was the number of engines. In addition, by the mid-1980s, the fly-by-wire system and the flight decks of the narrow-body A320 family were incorporated into the A330 and A340 programs. This would give Airbus an advantage over Boeing in terms of cockpit commonality, which meant shorter transition times for training for both its narrow-body and wide-body jets. Now, Airbus engaged potential customers, including Lufthansa and Swiss Air, to finalise the technical details and present sales proposals. Six Airbus A340s took part in 2,000 hours of testing after the maiden flight. There were some lessons learned, specifically with the wings not being strong enough to carry the outboard engines at cruising speed. This resulted in modifications to avoid warping and fluttering. The A340 obtained European certification on December 1992 and FAA certification followed on May 27, 1993. Lufthansa became the first operator of the A340 when it received the 200 on 2nd of February 1993. The German carrier began the A340 service six weeks later and the 300 model made its debut with Air France on February the 26th. Moreover, a specially fitted A340 took part in a demonstration tour. Equipped with an additional five centre fuel tanks and flying 22 people, the aeroplane broke the non-stop flight record by an airliner when it flew 10,409 miles. This record lasted until 2005, when the Boeing 777-200LR flew 11,600 miles. Now, the AV4200 and the 300 used the CFM-56 engines. They both have a wingspan of 197 feet and a seating configuration of 242. The 200 has the shortest fuselage, measuring 194 feet. It can fly 261 passengers in a free class layout up to 7,500 miles. However, its low capacity, compared to the longer 300, proved to be unpopular and resulted in only 28 being built. Now, as the numbers of the 200 and the 300s grew, airlines were starting to look for the Boeing 747-100 and 200 replacements. Airbus considered a stretched 400 version, but with the CFM engines, this would mean a significant range penalty. So Airbus decided to produce a larger wing and new engines for its planned A340-500 and 600 series. Now the A340-500 first flew on 11th of February 2002 and received certification 10 months later. Emirates was the launch customer and began the first service to America by using the new aircraft on its Dubai to New York route. The 500 is around 14 feet longer than the 300 but it has a 50% more fuel capacity and can fly 313 passengers in a free class layout. Now the 500 was the longest range passenger for three years until the Boeing 777-200LR entered service. Singapore Airlines used the 500 on its longest non-stop route from Singapore to New York until 2003. Now the largest member of the A340 family is the 600. It has a 208 foot wingspan of the 500 but its fuselage measures 247 feet, which is 4 inches longer than the 500. The 600 can carry 379 passengers in a free class layout up to 7,500 miles. And the plane has a distinction of being the longest aircraft in the world until Boeing introduced the 747-8. A long range version of 7,900 miles was also made and flew on November 18th, 2005. Emirates became the launch customer of this version, but it cancelled its order. 
Qatar Airways took four of these aircraft and also had options for a few more, but they instead went for the Boeing 777-300ER. Now the A340 family began to experience a decline in sales in the 2000s, as the Boeing 777 family, especially the 300ER, began to dominate the long-range sector. With an ETOP certification of 300 minutes, the 777 could virtually fly anywhere in the world, making four-engine operations more costly and less efficient. This was a period of rising oil prices, which made twin-engine aircraft including the A330 even more attractive to its customers. Orders for the 500 and the 600 came to a halt, and Airbus decided to close the production of its A340s in November 2001, and the last orders were delivered a year later. With its new Airbus A350, the company will be able to provide a twin-engine replacement for the A340, and has even offered customers to buy back A340s if they stick with Airbus. Now despite the end of this program, I'm sure that we'll continue to see A340s in the skies for many years to come.